What's up, everybody? Go Burns with news. That's right. The latest postcard has been officially decoded. And apparently there's been talk of some action coming up. Hopefully there'll be some action later on tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So we'll go over the decoded postcard in just a moment. But a few things really, really quick. The Mafia 3 gameplay demo from Gamescom is officially up. Not only at the Mafia Facebook page, but also over at the Mafia YouTube channel. You can go check it out if you wish to, but I decided not to do a breakdown of it because the game is only two weeks away. That's right. October 7th is almost here, and I'd rather just wait and just play the game myself than uh, you know go over someone else playing it. <laughs> Another pointer. So I was part of a couple podcasts uh, this week, uh, earlier today. Over at ACG with uh, Carrick, one of the best reviewers out there when it comes to video games. His channel is ACG, and I was part of the ACG Aimless Chatter episode number 36. We talked about a few things, including the Batman Arkham series, if you want to check that out for yourself. And coming up later tonight, or sometime this weekend, I was also part of my usual crew, the ACG International Podcast with Carrick, Reg, Silver. We talked about a lot of fun stuff as well, and that'll be up sometime tonight or this weekend, once again, over at ACG. So feel free and go check out Aimless Chatter and, of course, uh, the International Podcast and all the videos that Carrick does over at his channel, ACG. So let's get into this video, shall we? Regarding the latest postcard, and I believe it has something to do with the Federal Reserve in New Bordeaux. So an up-close shot of the GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it, I pronounce it differently, is uh, interesting. So we're going to look at this in just a second. I have a JPEG version of the back of the postcard, but the front of the postcard is this, and I can't stop it. I can't stop it! No! You know, there was a time when they first rolled out the postcards where they actually had a JPEG version of the front and the back. But for some reason, they stopped doing that a while back. I don't know why. They make really pretty thumbs, so I have to improvise. Anyway, so that's what the front of the uh, postcard looks like. But we do have the back of the postcard in JPEG form. So thank you, Mafia, for at least allowing us to have a JPEG version. Here it is, decoded L, which stands for Leo Galante, the head of the commission and uh, Vito's friend. Uncle S has been bringing on board some new people. No doubt all of them trying to handle that loud mouth prick of a kid he's got. Wow. I guess Vito doesn't like Georgie too much. <laughs> Some people, right? That hothead, though, is only going to get someone killed, and I don't want to be around when his number's up. So I get the feeling that Vito doesn't exactly like Georgie. I don't know why. I guess they've had issues in the past, but... You know, it is what it is. We don't get along with everybody. We try to, but there's just some people that rub us the wrong way. Continuing, there's been talk of some action coming up. This might be it, the big one. And God help me, Uncle S might insist on his knucklehead of a kid being involved in this one. I'll let you know when I hear more, Vito. And it took me a few tries to actually get the cursive right, because I was reading over it again and again and again before the video started, because admittedly my cursive isn't so good. So obviously, this is regards to A, Vito's feelings regarding Georgie, as well as the big one, which I believe is going to be the heist. But the interesting thing about this postcard, and all the postcards that have come out, is they're dated in 1967. This one is in March 1967, and... I don't know if they're doing the months wrong now or what, because it used to be going in order. Like it would start in March, then there would be like an April 67, then I think a May 67, you get the idea. So I don't know if they just stopped doing that part. But anyways, the postcards are set basically almost a year prior to the events of Mafia 3. So apparently it took several months from the time Vito sent Leo this postcard till, you know, the big, the big one which is, I'm guessing, the, the heist of the Federal Reserve of New Bordeaux transpire because at this time period in 1967, Lincoln Clay is still over in Vietnam and has yet to be discharged from service. So that all takes place in 1968. So be sure and let me know your thoughts about the latest decoded postcard, which uh, can be found over at the Mafia Facebook page, the GIF, GIF version, however you pronounce that, as well as this JPEG version. And once again, 
I really wish that, you know, we actually could check out the front of the postcards because the fronts were really, really cool looking. And before I wrap up, just want to let you know about the weekend. Uh, Saturday, I do have another installment of Grand Theft Auto Online Racing Badly. I got that back after taking the week off. And I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to do a rant video on Sunday. At the moment, I don't really have anything. Worst case scenario, I will just start back up the Mafia 2 Let's Play a day early. Originally, I was going to just wait till Monday, but I might just start it a day early on Sunday and just not worry about a rant video this weekend and do Chapter 10 on Sunday all the way through the finale, Chapter 15 on Friday, September 30th. So that's what I'm tentatively planning for the weekend. And that means that the uh, Mafia 2 Let's Play would wrap up a week before Mafia comes out on October 7th for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Mm -hmm.